tired and frustrated that you just cannot find the vintage cameras and lenses that you keep looking for on eBay, I may have a solution for you. Hello, Matt here. So today I've come down to Flint Auction House in the UK. It is raised. I will sell to Flint Live for £20. Selling then? Ahead of their Find Photographica auction on the 18th of November 2021. They've kindly laid out for us a range of vintage cameras and lenses, many of them Leica. And if you stay tuned, I'll show you how you can tell if there's a very expensive Leica lens inside an unmarked box. Well, that's come. Grab a chair and I hope you enjoy the video. This is the scene that awaited me as I open the door at Flint's. Let me give you more information on each of these items and let's dive into the video. And I've been talking a lot recently about the, the Leica R cameras. This is a black Leica SL2 with the Sumlux R51.4. <laughs> this is actually a lens I've been very tempted to buy a few times. And then next to that, we've even got a Chrome Sumcron R. 50 f2 but this is the version one you can tell because it's got a narrow nose i have the have it in black and it's really nice kind of gives a really nice cinematic look next we have a Leica reporter gg camera so this would do 250 shots without needing to change the film so it used to be used in the old days by kind of reporters maybe seaside photographers um, so if you want a something where you can just load bulk film this could be a really good option now if you're one of those people that keep writing to me regarding trying to find a really clean copy like an M camera. This is a mint like an M4 black paint, but it's a rare version because it's a Midland calendar, making it kind of even more desirable. So if you're looking for maybe a collector's camera, this may be more of a better investment than say a, a standard M4. Now behind that, you may think it's a normal black paint car one standard camera, but it's actually called a Leica standard snapshot. The reason it's different, it has a 35 mil Elmar lens and a 35mm finder. Now these are really rare because if you know much about the Leica, the old Leica cameras, they tend to have a 50mm lens and a 50mm finder. So if you happen to be a 35mm shooter, this is a really kind of rare opportunity to be able to shoot 35mm on a, a Leica 3 camera with a built-in 35mm viewfinder. Behind that, we have a clean looking Leica M2 and it also has the Summicron 50 f2 lens. Again, really nice condition. So. Um, if you need an M2, be sure to check it out. At first glance, they look very similar, but the difference is the M2 just says M2 and then the number. The M3 has an A at the end, and this means it's an, a trap or a dummy camera, basically. So this camera will not work. This camera will work. So make sure if you want a prop for your YouTube videos, feel free to get an, a trap version or a dummy camera. They do look amazing and the same as a, a normal Leica camera but the difference being you won't be able to take any pictures. So if it's only for YouTube, this is a cheaper way to get yourself a Leica dummy. Okay, if we move across the table <laughs> in the middle, a fire damaged Leica 3 camera. Uh, this looks like something from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> it just needs a few fossils or coral on it and it'd look even more vintage. If you've got every Leica already and you want something a bit different and you don't want to set fire to your own camera, <laughs> this may, may be a good opportunity to have something different to show your friends. Some of you are very keen Nikon shooters. And so for that reason, the guys kindly brought out this beast. Now I've actually got this next to a Pentax 6.7, which again, I know many of you have told me I need to start using or at least try out. So this is a Pentax 6.7, which most people think are a bit of a tank of a camera in terms of they are very weighty compared to the small Leicas that I tend to use. But <laughs> I have scrawny arms anyway, but this is definitely heavier than a Pentax 6.7 with the wooden grip. So it's kind of like, um, if I quickly get back to the Nikon for a second. So this is an autofocus, underwater, kind of do everything, bomb proof camera. It looks like it probably would have come out of a cracker or like a kid's toy, but the difference being it weighs an absolute ton. And if you want a big bright viewfinder, like a my, like SL, here's your big bright viewfinder in Nikon terms. So these are called an, a Nikonos 5. But just quickly get back to the Pentax. I'm not a Pentax expert, but if you're struggling to find one on eBay and you're looking for a clean copy, this is a really nice Pentax. As I say, I've never actually used a Pentax. The viewfinder is actually really nice. And I know the SLR cameras rather than the rangefinder cameras that I normally use, but maybe it's someday, at some point, I might have to get a Pentax to try. I recently did a video on zoom lenses for Leica R cameras and talking about using Leica R zoom lenses on either the Leica SL or Leica M cameras. This is a Tri Almar Leica M lens. So this is a equivalent of a zoom lens for an M camera. So you have 35mm, 50mm and 28mm 
but it's Leica M mount. So this gives you the equivalent of three prime lenses in one lens. And the Leica R35-70, which I recently covered, has some kind of design features which I believe are similar to the, the Leica M tri -Elmar. Right, if we work our way across, <laughs> more exciting lenses. Um, if I start at the back, we have a, I'd say reasonably rare, I've never seen one, a Leica Simlux 1.4, which looks normal from the front. However, it's actually thread mount. This will give you the opportunity to use a high resolution Simlux 1.4 on a Leica 3 camera. So if you love your Leica 3 cameras, this is maybe a great opportunity for you. In front of it, we have a cutout of a Summit 50mm 1.5. You can see why Leica lenses are so heavy. There's so much metal inside. If you compare that to, I'd like to see a cut through of a plastic <laughs> Nikon G lens and it'll just be <laughs> plastic, a bit more plastic, plastic. So this is why we pay extra for Leica lenses. The amount of detail on the inside is pretty impressive. And then you can see with the grooves, that's where the, the various lens elements will be mounted. At the back in the bag, so this is a Leica Simlux 51.4 black and gold lens. If you've already got black paint and you want the next level, how about black and gold to pimp your Leica? This is a Leica Simlux 1.4. Again, it sounds nothing special, but it's actually a double spherical version. And so this is supposed to give the best of both worlds. It's like an M mount and it should give you kind of the dreaminess qualities of vintage lenses, but then the sharpness of modern lenses. Before I move on to those at the front, I forgot to mention this exciting, very plain looking box at the back. This is a unopened Leica Noctilux M 50mm f1.2 spherical limited edition lens. Now these have been going on eBay for around £100,000, so I'm going to pop it back down there <laughs> and I'm going to stand away from it. But if you want something really special, maybe as an investment, you've just done really well on your Bitcoin <laughs> or the stock markets, this is quite a special lens, uh, probably the most expensive Leica item I've ever been close to. <laughs> you may be wondering, what if there's just a brick inside? <laughs> this could be one expensive potato <laughs> if the box has never been opened. The guys at Flint's actually thought ahead of that and they did an x-ray of the box and they can verify with a photo that this actually does have the lens inside. So uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty smart thinking. <laughs> For those of you that enjoy vintage lenses, we've got two Delmeyer set tacks. So this is a two inch f1.5, which is the equivalent to say 50 mm 1.5. But if you look at the difference in size compared to a Simulux, these are roughly the same aperture, 1.4, 1.5, but this is half the size. So if you want a smaller like M setup, get the lenses converted. There's no focusing helicoid, meaning you wouldn't be able to focus this on a Leica M camera. So what you need to do is you need to first get it mounted onto a helicoid, which will make it slightly bigger. Um, if we move on to a slightly similar lens, you may think some people may class it in the same group, even though these are now cine lenses. Uh, so this is an 83mm f1.9, so a really nice kind of portrait length and uh, aperture. So these are what were used by the things like the BBC where you'd have four lenses on the front of like the front of the camera and then they, they could choose their focal length. So these are also cine lenses and the size of some of these are just amazing to me. And you see how small it is. These are designed for the cine cameras but it will cover a 35mm sensor size. So if you want to shoot that on a Leica M camera you can use that on a Leica M camera. All these lenses would need helicoids and be adapted to Leica M mount obviously because you can see the original screw mount from the cameras they've came from. This one at the back in particular is from a Bolax camera, which is a was a kind of a standard 60 mil camera back in the time that these were made. But this is actually worth around eight to twelve thousand. It's really it's really quite weighty, and you can see how small the original mount is on the back. So these are called C mount lenses. And this is a Zunau 50 mil f 1.1 or five centimeter f 1.1, and you can see it's very similar if you've ever seen a Noctilux. F1 lens where it just looks like a huge piece of glass <laughs> that you can see the, the writing on the lens cap behind. This is around three to five thousand pounds. So I'd like to say a massive thank you to Flint to let me see a lot of these exciting things up close. And if you want to see these in more detail for yourselves, you should visit the flintauctions.com website where you can see full information on, on these and hundreds of other very nice looking items. The auction starts at 12 o'clock on the 18th of November. 2021 depending on when you watch this video hopefully you watch it in time so if you did see something in this video you like the look of you'd be able to bid uh, as i say links in the description below feel free to check out for full information on all the items in the auction thanks for watching and as always a massive thanks to my patrons bye